a hard place. In a couple seconds, I'm going to be between a rock and a hard place. <laughs> what am I doing? What am I, crazy going to do this? I don't understand. I started diving at the Patterson YMCA. I joined the swimming team when I was a little kid. I learned to swim there. And they didn't have a space. diving Cody coach or anything. I got in the circus club. Thank you. And I, I did the circus. I did trampoline and all and everything, tumbling. I loved it. It was fun. Young kid, 13, 14, 15. After graduating high school, I went to the United States Navy, where I became an underwater demolition man, what you call the Navy SEALs today. I just love diving, so I wanted to do it all, and I didn't know any better. What do you know in 2021? You know? <laughs> <laughs> I did the underwater demolition, blowing up things from Lebanon to the same old stuff going on today, you know? <laughs> <laughs> two years at the Navy base, I just, well, I don't want to waste your time. I was such a good frog, man, that the day before I got out of the Navy, I was restricted to the ship. That's what they do. They don't want you to go out and get drunk the next day. You know, you never drink anyway. But I was restricted to the ship. They had a diving competition and the base. I snuck out the bow doors. I went to the diving competition. It won the championships, won the big trophy and everything. Shook hands with the admiral. <laughs> And he said to me, he says, this is the kind of guys we love in our Navy, champions. What, are you kidding me? I'm getting out tomorrow. <laughs> I had to sneak back aboard ship. I had the trophy in my bag. I get out the next day. The officer of the deck is standing there. I come, request permission to go off the ship, sir. I put my bag right on his feet. I knew he wouldn't look in and find that trophy. <laughs> yeah. After Navy, I went into junior college, Miami Day Junior College. They had a swim team. I really enjoyed it. And diving, I started diving for the swim team, and, and I met the Miami Beach divers. I was in Miami Beach, and I met Dick Gutting, Johnny Bowers, Johnny T T Barney Cipriani, all the guys, Tommy Gump, and all the great dive show divers. We were show diving, and it was just so much fun. I, I couldn't believe it. I was making 25 bucks a show, three shows on a weekend, and spearing fish off, an, off the Miami beach. Spearing fish, because I was a frog man, I didn't to spear fish. Are you kidding me? I was living like a king. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you the truth. After, I went to Miami, after Miami Day, I graduated, I went to Florida State University to finish up my two years. They didn't need any divers, all right. So, I did the Jim Conn. I loved trampoline. I jumped trampoline, doing tricks crazy everywhere. Went to the SIGL, Southern Gym Tatic Chair. I did pretty good, you know. <laughs> Didn't really have a coach. It was fun. I, I always had fun. And the summer, to make money, I went to Atlantic City, New Jersey. I don't know if you've ever been there. It's not like the Jersey Shore in a movie. But it's back in, the, back in 1966. Diving. They had a show. I got a job there. I'm diving. I had to do the high dive. 60, 65 feet. I'd have a bit over the, about 10 meter tower. And the guy says, you want the job? You go off the tower. Oh my God, here we go. <laughs> right off, I did my own dive. Nobody ever done this dive before. It was a pike layout, tuck, full gator. I felt really safe with it and I liked it and I got it in. Now everybody uses it, right? <laughs> <laughs> Did the high dive. After that high diving next year, I went to the World High Diving Championships, 110 feet. Now this was a competition you swimmers ain't ready for. <laughs> swimmers ain't ready for this. You know why? You do one dive a day, you start out at 60 feet, six days later you're up 110 feet, incrementing 10 feet. Let me tell you, when you go home after the first one, you're thinking about the next one, right? <laughs> a rock in a hard place, don't forget. <laughs> I, I did good. I did good. I earned enough money to pay for being out there. He didn't, he didn't do too good, but he was a guy I looked up for diving. Great young guy. After that, I bought an old sailboat for 10 bucks. Got out of college. $10, I bought a 65-foot, two-masted wooden scooter. <laughs> That's when they started thinking there was something wrong. <laughs> And they said, they said, let's give it a Viking funeral. We'll set it on fire, you know? A lot of music. Hey, if you want to hear the rest, I'll yes. give it to you. Yes. I didn't know who was.
was diving. I was just diving, right? This big guy comes over to me, grabs me, gives me a hug. He goes, anybody beat me, I want to shake their head. <laughs>